Hi guys, welcome to The Game Plan. I'm Lindsay. I'm Rico. And today we're going to be talking about games that we really love to play with four players. Not necessarily four player games, but games that play well at a four player count. Not necessarily four player only right. games. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a varying amount of players that are available to play the game, but four, man, man. So this is a continuation in our series of player count videos. Yeah. All right, All right, so number five, what do you got? Um, number five, I like Istanbul at four. Okay. Yeah. Because there's a little bit... It's tighter. It's tighter. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot tighter. It's not just like open and you go wherever you want. You got to like really figure things out. Yeah. I like that game at four. I, I hadn't, honestly didn't even consider it. Yeah. Good, okay, good Thank choice. You. It is a good one. And it's really good with the coffee expansion. Mm -hmm. Coffee and... Hashish. Is it? Is it hashish? I don't think it's a sheesh, <laughs> but if it were, that Bo would be awesome. Okay. I don't know. Coffee and, do we have it? Where is it? Where is that? Um, right there. Uh, it doesn't say on this. Yeah, mocha, mocha and, and something. Hold on. Bok sheesh. Bok sheesh. Mocha and bok sheesh. Nah, Expansion, nah. not how sheesh. <laughs> Although that's what I'm going to call it from now on. So, Oops. I like it with that expansion. There's another expansion that's like letters and something. Yeah, seals like the, and letters. Yeah, the coffee one's better. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that was mine. What's yours? Number Good five? choice. Uh, so my number five is um, Adrenaline. Oh, yeah. And the reason, yeah. I, I, the reason I really like this at four <clears throat> is, okay, so I, I thought to myself, Adrenaline may not be a good one because it does play well with three, four, or five yeah. players. And I think it plays very well with all of them. Because, yeah. hold on, yeah. because right. the boards can be like flipped around and interchanged to make different sizes and variants of types of, of rooms. Mm -hmm. And so if you're with three players, you just do something that works with three players. If you're with five players, you do something that works with five players. But with your four players... You can do all of them. Yeah. You, you can do really tight if you want to make something small, but it's still four players mm -hmm. can play. If you want something really wide open, you can just make something that would be more generally for five player, but you can still have fun and it still works well with four. Good At point. four players, you can just do everything. Yeah. It's great. I just like that there's that many more people to kill. That's also there's fun. There's at least three other people to target. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that is, the mo yeah, you're right. The more, the more players there are to target, the more fun it is in that game. That's the only game that I think I feel that way about because usually I'm non-combative, but in adrenaline that's the whole point. So I like rounding people up and bashing them. Yeah. And the, the any impact that you have on the other players is generally positive. Yeah. I mean, there might be some things like you force them to move into positions that they weren't wanting to be or something like that, but like damage being done to them is not detrimental. In fact, it's beneficial to them. Yeah. So not only are you out to give them damage because that's how you get your points they don't care if they take damage because it doesn't give them negative points and makes them more powerful which allows them to get more damage out on you it's actually exciting when you get enough damage that you can uh, move and then shoot yeah that's fun yep. i like it when i get that much that's so, love it good job look number yes. five okay so number four vegas showdown hmm i really love this game yeah you do i it's never going to make a top five list for me. No, but I just like it a lot. And it looks like garbage, but I like playing it with four because there's that, m you, you're trying to bid on things and there's a little more interaction with four. So you got to do a really good bid or somebody may outbid you and then you got to make another decision. But it's just. It's and I, I like, I do like that. Yeah. But I think Stockpile does that better. You might be right. I think I just have a place in my heart for Vegas Showdown. I think she does. Is a Stockpile your next one? No, it's not. But I, I, I'm not, I, I like Stockpile, or Vegas I like Showdown. Vegas Showdown. It is a fun game. They need to do a Kickstarter Deluxe yeah. uh, for it because the components are crap. They're just crap. <laughs> um, but the game is fun. It's, it's a fun game. Uh, but I, I guess I've gotten spoiled enough in, the, in this luxury hobby of ours that bad components are actually now negatively impacting my enjoyment of the game. And it used to not be like that. He used to be like, I don't care what it looks like. There's just something about, man, yeah. having nice tactile pieces in my mm. hand, clunking together poker chips and like feeling little uh, custom meeples. Yeah. 
there's so much enjoyment that I get from just the tactile feel of board games nowadays that... And I like putting my casino together. And it's try, fun. Trying to get fancy restaurants and stuff. It's, it's a fun game. And show, Vegas, um, Stockpile doesn't have that You're right. part. I like the... Spatial. Because you, yeah, you have a hotel that one end is like... Re- hotel, casino, casino and, and hotel. hotel. And you try and make it to where they come together in the middle and you can just walk all the way through. Mm. So I like that part of the game. And I like the... I usually don't like auction mechanics, yeah. but this one does it really well. So I, it's a good game. And I want it to be redone or something. Yeah. But yeah, if if it was redone, like I said, Kickstarter Deluxified, yeah. it it might get into a top ten or top five for me. Yeah, because the components are garbage. Yeah. So, all so right. It's a good game. So, that um, was my number four. All right, my number four um, is Power Grid. Okay. Um, I I really think Power Grid does a good job in general scaling player count because it's a 2D map and so as you you bring on more players it's not that you're getting like surrounded by more players it's it's more elongated if you can think of like my interaction and, and decision making is necessary for the people who are right here but not the people who are over here so the more players I add I don't necessarily it doesn't necessarily bog down my strategy um, but that's only one aspect, right? The map. But then there's the resources and the bidding and there's all these other aspects. But similarly with the map is that those other aspects are also restricted into how many more people will bog down my strategy in that, say, I, I have a, a power plant that is competing for resources that other people are competing for. Well, not everybody's competing for the same. I mean, you guys are bidding wrong if everyone wants coal, yeah. right? So there's only a few who have coal, and even if you add more players, you're probably still only going to have a few, right? Because if I see everybody's going for coal, I'm going to go for garbage. Right, so it it just naturally people are going to start spreading that around, right? So as you scale more players, your strategy doesn't get bogged down by that because there's still only those two people going for coal, maybe three, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it doesn't carry itself heavily with more players like a lot of other games do. Right. And and four players, I I mean, I love that game pretty much at every player yeah. count, but it's it's at just four, great it's for. a little quicker because the bidding can go on for a while if it's more than four. Yeah. So, yeah. Good choice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, number three? Number three. What did I have for number three? Puerto Rico. Ah, oh, good choice. I like it at four. Yeah. Does it's it a, play to five? It plays to five. Okay. That's um, what I thought. Yeah, it does play to five, and I, I, I agree with you. I think it's better at four. Yeah. Um, because all the roles are still out there. And it's not as long. Yeah. Like it can go on for a while if it's yeah. five. Yeah, it plays a little. It plays shorter. Um, there's a little bit more angst in the in the choices because you are you, you the number of choices are slightly less than at five, um, and so it's a little tighter there. So yeah. there's a little more angst when you're trying to decide. But because of the way the nature of how everybody follows the leader, it 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 makes your decisions more meaningful, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, you're not so far away from your your last decision that, yeah. you know what I mean, like, your last decision can be strategically tied to your next decision more than more so, than, yeah. yeah, I agree. It's not just like, it, it just don't even plan ahead, because it's going to be a while and everything's going to change. Yeah. So, yeah, I like that one for Yeah, good call. Okay. Puerto Rico. Uh, I think she's going to agree with my number three as far as it being on the top five list, and that's uh, Energy Empire, ah, the yes. Manhattan Project Energy Empire. Yes. Um, this one is, I, uh, I, I think I don't, two players kind of, eh, it's not, I don't think it's the best two player game. Um, the mechanism that they use to like simulate more players and that kind of thing is yeah. kind of whatever. Three players I think is great, four players love it, five players, if they all know what they're doing, love it, love it. It's amazing. Um, but if, if the, the thing is if someone, so what can be so fantastic about this game? It is. Is that if everyone knows what they're doing, you can interact to the board and then start doing your stuff while everyone else is doing theirs. And by the time that they're done, it's your turn again because yeah. there's, there's like tableau building. So you, you, your first action goes to the board and then everything else happens in front of you. And so you don't have to wait for other people to do what you're going to do because what they do on their first part of their action, I know how the board changed and I know how it's going to affect me. So I can then take my action while they're playing out all their stuff and then start playing out all my stuff while they take their action, etc. And so if you've got people who know what they're doing, it's just bam, 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 bam. You just the, go, go, go. The only slowdown is 
when it gets back to you and you're still doing your tableau and yeah. you're like, oh wait, it's my turn again. Like, yeah. That's where it can kind of stop a little bit. Yeah. But, but nobody notices because they're all doing their yeah. thing, right? Um, because you get more and more stuff to do. So everybody's still doing this and then you're like, wait, whose turn is it? Oh, it's mine. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, the only, that obviously, that whole scenario breaks down if one person doesn't know how yeah. to do it, right? So it can, yeah. but despite that, even, or I say, even when that happens, it's still a fantastic game. Yeah. Even if it moves a little slowly, but it, the, the opportunity for, a, and when it does move really fast like that, man, it's like, it's as good as it gets. It's really exciting. Yeah. So. I didn't put that on my list because um, I think it's best at five if everybody knows what they're doing. Yeah. So I did leave it off this list. That's but true. it is my favorite game. Yeah. So just so everybody knows that. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Good disclaimer. Yeah. So we're on to number two. Is that what we're doing? Um, yes, got, number two. I got excited about Energy Empire. Yeah. Um, so this is a game that I we don't play a whole lot, but I really like it when we play it. And it's Coimbra. Yeah. And I think it's good at, fo at four. Yeah, it does play well at four. Yeah. Have we played it with anyone, any other counts than four? Maybe not, and that's why I like it. Oh. But it stood out, like when I was thinking about games okay. that we've played. Okay. I mean, it doesn't come out as much as it should, I feel like. No, no, that's absolutely true. No, I really like that game. Fantastic game, and it has not, definitely not gotten enough plays. Yeah. I just don't, I can't. Maybe this is why I like I haven't had enough plays and experience with it, especially at, at enough different player counts to make a choice on that. Because yeah. I can't, I don't know enough about what the game does to see how four players makes it shine. Right. Like that's kind of how I chose this this list. Is like, what is it about? Like, like when I, when I was describing say um, Power Grid, how yeah. like as it increases in player count, it does this, and you, you know you get this little element. That's what made me choose this is why it plays really good at four and I, I don't think I can do that with Coimbra. Maybe not, but I just wanted to talk about it because I like it okay. and it's good at four. We have it's different good, criteria for how we build lists. <laughs> it's a good four player game. It so. is. It's a great game. Yeah. And it's a great four player. I played it at four players yeah. a couple times at least and yeah, it's good. Yeah. Good, good choice. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next year. Let's move on. <laughs> so my number two is a crossover with no surprise. Um, <laughs> Who were you crossing over with? Puerto Rico. Yay. I love Puerto Rico. Yes. And at four players, I do think it shines at it four does. players. I it, think so. it, it plays relatively quickly in general, but you're right, at, four, at five players, it can, it can kind of drag out a little bit, especially towards the end as, as people are really trying to wrap up their strategy. Yeah. It can kind of slow down to a little bit of a crawl. Four players, yeah, I don't see that problem. And it just, yeah, sings. It's good stuff. And I don't want to belabor it anymore, but man, fantastic. And there is a reason it was the number one game on BGG for, I think it holds a the record long. for the longest time. Um, there was a reason for that. It's a fantastic game. Everybody I, should play that game. This is another one that I would love to see, like a Kickstarter redo. They, they do reprint it, and there are deluxe versions of it, and I don't think any of them look any good. I actually would like to see this game rethemed. That, 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 I might do a video. A retheme? About a Puerto Rico retheme. Okay. A, another theme... But better components, because I don't. It's I don't. I'm not. I'm not in love with the components of this game. But that's oh. how much I love the game. Yeah. Like, it's they're way better than than like Vegas Showdown. Vegas Showdown. But they're still pretty bland. They're you know? just basic. Yeah. I guess. It was from 2004, and they really just haven't updated anything. Uh, yeah. You know, so it's just. But they did a good job for at the time. Sure, and I think it's it holds up fine today. But the, it's just not that pretty. <laughs> I'm. I'm. It's weird that I'm coming to this realization yeah. in my gaming life that I was like, I like pretty. Yeah. What? I'm kind of excited about that. I can like pretty. <laughs> what? Because I've always been like, well, this is a really pretty game. I like this a lot. And you're like, I don't care what it looks like. And well, I'm let me... sorry that... Being pretty would never, would never else elevate it over right. a bad game. Yeah. Right? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I find a good beautiful. game, I want it to be beautiful. Yeah. Right? I, and, I, and I think I've learned it like with Side. I loved it. We got just the basic retail copy of the game and just slowly over the years... I've just been adding little my own little yeah. flares to it to where now I don't think there's anyone out there that has the exact same type of copy as me. And it's beautiful and I love it. Okay. And I would love to do that with Puerto Rico. Because Puerto Rico is a top five game of all time to me. Yeah. For um, sure. And I just don't think it's attractive. And I, I would think love it is. to I would I love like to like it. Mm, and right. yeah. it's not to each their own. Yeah, I guess. Alright, I like it. Okay. So are we to number one? Number one. Dinosaur Island. Really? Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. I like it a lot at four. I just like the talking about all the stuff, and if it's two players, it's still I'm sure it would still be fine. I don't know if I've ever played it with just two players. I don't think I've played two, and you would have been playing with yeah, me, I think, yeah, so. Yeah, I would have been playing with you. Um, I just, I like the, if there's not a whole lot of interaction. I mean, you can kind of take what somebody else wanted, but then there's so many more options that it's okay. You can change your strategy a little bit. Yeah. But I like the anticipation of, like, the drawing out of the bag and... Yeah. Are the hooligans going to come out? Because I'm drawing last, so I hope a bunch of people get hooligans. And yeah. I just like it for I like the the just interaction and stuff. Cool, good choice. It's yeah. a good game. Love that game. Um, so my number one is my favorite game of all time, and Scythe. Scythe. Um, but again, my criteria for why it's so good at four, I I I really did think about because I I love Scythe, no matter what. No matter what. Uh, I'll play it. He no, played it eight. I could only play to seven. <laughs> the only time I wouldn't, I think I wouldn't play it is if I knew there was just some asshole, like oh, yeah. one of those greasy dudes that's just a jerk to everybody, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play then, but yeah. but in general, I would play that at any player count. Love it. I th we've only played, I think, once at two. I've never played solo. We did try. play it too, and it was good. Yeah, I think just one time mm -hmm. though, right? But it was good. It, it was surprisingly good. Like I, I'd had avoided it for so long because I thought there's no way it could be good, but it was actually fun. It was fun. Um, three is. Also fun, loved it. I, I don't. I haven't played a lot. We learned it at three, and I don't know that I've played a ton at three, but it's still fun. Um, five and six, I will play. Five, it gets really, it gets a little tight, and depending on the, the players, it, it might play out a little bit differently than some might want. Um, at six, even more so. But at four, okay. So here, <laughs> this is why four is so good. So. If you have a group of players who like interaction, and there's a little bit of interaction with, with side, there's the opportunity to, to, to do battles. And, and really, um, the most detrimental is if you, did, if you plan poorly. If you plan poorly, you could lose resources and get your guy moved back to the home base. And yeah. so the person, you know, the worker, she's back home or whatever. Um, that's the worst thing that can happen. And, and again, only if you plan poorly on losing the resources part. But you can gain um, victory points for doing that in a limited supply. And so if people are wanting to do that or are compelled to do that for some reason, their player or whatever, at four players, you can, you can make it occur. But if you want to avoid it, you can also not do it as often. You know what I mean? Like, let's say it this way. At five players, you're forced into a lot of compromising positions that you may not want to go to. It's, I still think it's enjoyable and it can add to the strategy, but some people, it might be a little stressful. There's some frustration when you lose your resources and stuff. Yeah, if, some, if someone is doing something that you think is not optimal for them, but the only reason they're doing it is because they are stuck in a, you know, like I'm stuck here and I need to get through, yeah. and they're just going to do that. Those types of things can be a little frustrating for some people. At four players, you can avoid that yeah. almost, almost universally. But you're still close enough and tight enough that you have to think about the positioning of the other players on the board. Um, at three player, you lose a little bit of that. At two player, I think you lose even more of that. Because the whole board stays open yeah. no matter what. Yeah, they player. don't really close off any parts so of the board. So at two player, you can just kind of like go around each other and no yeah. combat at all unless you Which is why I factor. was kind of like, I don't, see, I, I, this is why I, I took so long to play it too, because right. I was like, that seems weird, like it wouldn't be that fun. But kind it turned out. two solo games. Yeah, <laughs> it turned out to be quite fun. Yeah, it was. Didn't, but three, yeah, again, three is, you kind of really have to force interaction if you're going to get it. Yeah. Four, <clears throat> if you need it, it's there. There's if you, just enough. Yeah, it's just perfect. Yeah. Perfect at four. I agree. Love that game. Yeah. Love that game. We still have to finish Fenris. Yes. We're, we have one game, one game left, left in the campaign. So that's fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good choice. Thank you. Okay, that is our top five games that we like with four players. Let us know what you guys, yeah. you know, what four player games you think just kill it, knock it out of the park. Yeah, I'd love to know. Seeing it for. I'll, I'll give them a shot. Because a lot of times I find, this is a, one of the reasons why I always want to play a game at least twice before I make a decision as to whether I like it or dislike it. I mean, some you can tell right away, but most times I'll play twice. Um, it's because, yeah, sometimes at different player counts, like I can't imagine if you got introduced to Grand Austria Hotel at four players, you you'd be like, it. what a crap game. This yeah. game sucks. But at two players, it's amazing. It's like a, you know? a magical, whole different game. Yeah, and I can imagine some of these games, like uh, like a One Night Ultimate Werewolf type game, it can technically play at four. But man, it is so much better at seven yeah. or eight. 
right? So like the player count can make a huge difference. I'd love to hear about some, and maybe I just like, oh, I didn't know that played yeah. well at four. Love Let to hear us it. Let know. Thanks oh. for watching. Yep. See you guys later.